What's up everyone, this is Happy Collision here, bringing you another tutorial for Elite Dangerous. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine. Um, I know uh, a lot of people want to learn how to mine, and this is a very easy, quick guide to show you how to do it. So to start off, you're going to need some things before you go mining. <clears throat> so you're going to want to go to Outfitting. And then you want to replace one of your weapons. You can replace multiple, like you can put a mining laser on two hard points. But I mean, one is fine for, for mining. I don't see a point why you would need to. So you get a mining laser. Um, the more expensive and the bigger, the better, obviously. So I have you see mine right here. Um, and for the sake of the video, I'm going to have my cursor in it. So you guys can see I'm going to be pointing stuff out a lot during it. And then the second thing you're going to need, very important, is the refinery. And now refineries, let me show you really quick, um, come with different amount of spaces in them depending on how expensive they are. So you see right here how it says refinery bins. That means that you can only have three uh, like pieces, different types of, of metal or elements refining at, at the same time. So you're going to want to buy one that has more. And you can always buy more, more than one refinery, but the one I have right now uh, has five um, refinery bins. That's pretty good. And then you're also going to want to have a good cargo capacity because then you could, that's the amount of minerals you can carry before you have to go sell them and then come back and keep mining. So, yeah, that's good. All right. So once you have everything you need to go mining, what you're going to need to do is find a suitable place to go mining. So there's two th uh, places that you want to look for for like the, to get the best money out of mining so you go to let's say a system and I'll show you the system I'm in um, as an example because this is where we're gonna go mining now when you go either to an asteroid belt or a system with a ring around it it'll tell you the ring type and you either want it to be metal rich or metallic those are the two best ones. The other two are Icy and Rock, and Icy has nothing, so it's pointless. And Rock has very, very, very cheap minerals, so it's also kind of pointless. So you want to go to the one that's metal rich or metallic. And then the next thing you want to look for here is the reserves. You want it to eat, be either eat major reserves or pristine reserves. There is, um, I believe, depleted reserves, low reserves, um, common reserves, major, and then pristine. You want it to either be major or pristine. Even common, you're not going to find that that much good stuff in there. So, either major reserves with metal rich or major reserves with metallic or pristine reserves with metal rich or pristine reserves with metallic. Those are the two best places or the four best places to go mining, in my opinion. You can go mining anywhere, but you're going to get the best minerals in these places. So, we're going to set this. We are actually right here at the Phillips Arena. And we're going to head over there now and start mining. And I'll show you guys how you do it. All right. So here we are at the asteroid belt. I don't know why it says unexplored. It's not unexplored. All right. So... To get first started mining, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to set your mining laser to its own firing group. So you come over here and you go to fire groups and you make sure you pick your mining laser and you make it its own firing group. So you're not shooting all of your other weapons at the same time. Alright, so let's come here, take out our hard points, switch over to the mining laser. big rock that we just passed right here. Well, hello there. So you just fly up and to every mining laser has a different distance. I think mine can hit from here. Alright, there we go. And you start shooting at it. Oh, and make sure your cargo hold is open. Cargo scoop deployed. Oh, your cargo scoop. Because you're going to have to be catch stuff now. So now that everything is flying out, you target it. And you catch it with your cargo scoop. Fly forward very slowly so you don't break it or you don't fly into the asteroid. Bam! 
Now, of course, what I normally do is I hold the laser and get a lot of pieces to fly off and then, you know, just get all the pieces after and then get more pieces to come off. So, right now that it says resource unallocated, you can't grab any more. So you come over here to your refinery and you see in cargo now it'll say refinery on the left here. And then you choose what you, which one you want to start um, refining. And since I have five spaces, I'm just going to put both of them. And now let's say there's one you don't want to refine. You click vent. Um, this little button right here on the side. You just tap that and then it'll destroy the, the mineral that you're currently refining. So now we just keep continue collecting more pieces. Scan detected. Oh, there's somebody here. Probably somebody else mining. Wonder if they start shooting at me. It'd be pretty interesting. All right. So then uh, this one. Okay. See now we got indite. Oh, I accidentally just destroyed one of the minerals. That happens sometimes because I'm not paying attention. All right. So yeah. Then you just continue to shoot the rock, and more minerals will fly off, and that's what you do. And then you just keep going and. Uh, another thing I should explain is you don't just one you one piece is not one piece of mineral. You actually have to um, what's it called? Uh, get enough for the refinery to create the the one piece of mineral. So if you see, the uranite is at 32%. So I have to collect more of that to reach 100%, and then I'll get one piece of uranite in my car in my uh, cargo hold. See, the, so that's why it's good to find really expensive places because mining doesn't pay unless you find places that have really good minerals like palladium, silver, or gold because th those uh, you're going to make a lot of money off of. Also, we found some silver, guys. See, this is why it's worth coming to these places because we found some silver. So let's try to refine that. Almost got silver done, it's at 81%. Just a little more. Alright, so now we got an indite and silver. I mean, if I spent more time, obviously I could get more, but I'm just doing this to show you guys. And then now let's go back and sell it at the port. Let's get the frig out of here. Cannot comply. Cargo scoop retracted. It's retracted. Cannot comply. Oh, my hard ones. There we go. Frame shift drive right, I'll charging. I'll see you guys back at the port. Four, three, two, one, engage. Always trying. Always trying, but never getting it. I don't think I've ever been interdicted in this ship. It's never going to happen. Uh, this ship, this mobility of the ship is too on point. Alright. Back to the, back on my way to the port. Oh my god. Second time. Second time in a row. Trying to be interdicted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be glitching out on me. Don't be popping away from me, escape vector. Oh. See, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Leave me alone. I have one piece of silver. It's not gonna do you well. And I'll probably kill you anyways. Alright, we're almost there. Let's get there. <coughs> Docking request granted. Alright, so we made it back with no more interruptions. This freaking asshole trying to interdict me. Failing miserably. I'm gonna dock really quick. Whoa. Landing gear deployed. There we go. Docking All successful. Right. Engines disengaged. <coughs> Raw port services. 
you go to the commodities market and in cargo under cargo it'll show you where like what you have so if you you know so you can just scroll down and find it really quick see one silver bam sell four thousand credits now see if i just stayed there because that place had silver and I, and I can carry 16 things in my cargo so i mean that would have been a good amount of money and what's good is you don't have to it's not like trading i mean trading you make more money but in trading you have to buy and sell and this you just mine and sell so you're not really spending any money except for the equipment to initially start mining so yeah sell this sell the indite cool and then yeah all right so that's how you mine um if this helped you out and you like the video leave a like if you haven't already subscribe this has been happy collision and have a nice day